Hi folks, James here. I've been there uh, as usual going out and spending money or trading up on Blu-rays and uh, I've got a fair few here. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is we'll go through the ones I actually got today and uh, I'll show you those and uh, we'll also have a little look at some of the other ones I've collected over the past couple of months or so. I'll be honest with you, I can't remember if I've showed these ones before or not don't think you've seen most of them, but as I say, I've collected these at various times over the course of the month. So, first of all, we'll look at what we got today, and uh, there we go. So, I went into Poundland, and Poundland had a few uh, Blu-rays in there, so I bought uh, the ones that had any inter interest to me, and I say, we'll have a look at those uh, just, not just now. So, first one we got, don't know anything about it, Roommate. Is ready for a good scare, so it looks like it's a, a, obviously a horror one there, so that's fine. Also picked up Skit, looks like a British a sort of gangster action movie. There you go. I also picked up The Boy. This one looked quite interesting. It was a 3D one, and that's The Ultimate Warrior, The Greatest War. There we go. Also picked up this one. It says it was nominated for two Academy Awards, but getting nominated is a bit different than winning, isn't it? So there you go. And that is the Grandmaster, the epic story of the man who taught Bruce Lee. There you go. I also picked up this one. Quite, I, I think I remember seeing this one, but I uh, thought it was quite good. That was Gerard Butler and Machine Gun Preacher. Also picked this one up uh, for wife, whether, whether we'll watch it or not is a different matter. And that is uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Also picked up I Am Wrath. Oh, and that's John Travolta. So that's all the ones I picked up from Poundland. So I spent £8 in there. I actually did buy a few doublers by mistake. So we'll just, sit, we'll just send most of those, one, most of those ones back. Uh, in, in there, so we'll see, we'll see about that. Uh, so I'm going to now just have you a quick look at uh, my other purchase this week, and that is I bought myself a 4K TV. Uh, it's not set up for 4K yet because I've only got the Xbox One and I don't actually have any 4K discs to play on it, but uh, I bought it and they say it's going to go on the wall, but at the moment it's sitting in front of my old one, which I've not even took off the wall yet, so we'll go and show you that. There we go. Paused on Sky Plus. I'm watching the the this the strain at the moment. And as as you can see, as you can see, I say it's not on the wall, but it's a 40 inch Samsung. I got price matched at Curry's for 360 with John Lewis. 4K Ultra HD. Nice stand. I say it's not going to stay there because as you can see, my other TV is behind it's still behind it. But it's going to go on the wall. It's going to go on the the wall. I've just not got around to that yet, which I will do. And see, so hopefully I'll get a 4K disc to see the true potential of it. But Blu-rays, things like that, look absolutely amazing, amazing on it so far. So there you go. Hi folks. As you can see, I've got a fair few to go through, but for honest with you, I probably won't get through all these in this video. But let's have a look and see what I got. Got. I say, forgive me if I've shown any of these before to you, but uh, I have a. Uh, Completely forgot what I've shown you and what I've not. So we'll start off with the a season that I picked up, and that is Grey's Anatomy, the fifth season. You can see the five pound price on it. I didn't pay five pound for that. I paid twenty five p. Uh, there, so there you go. And uh, see, I've got quite a few seasons of that now, but uh, looking to get the get that all all the way through. Just a wee tip: season seven has got a great singing episode in that. If you really want to watch it, that that's a it's really good. So, have a look at that. So, I don't know if I've shown you that one, but I picked up Top Gun on Blu-ray. Not much can be said about that one. He also picked up New Year's Eve. And I say that was 50p, so I took that one, why not? It says it's got the UV code in it, but it doesn't. There's a surprise from ZX. Also picked up the complete first series of skins. Again, picked that up for 25p. 
And I picked up Shameless Series 2, again 25p. I picked up as well Tom Cruise and Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible Ghost Pro Protocol. Again, I got that for CX, I found most of the I didn't really spend any money, this was all store credit, just about anyway, I think. Also picked up Apartment 1303. I'm not sure I've shown you that one before, but I've not got any watching it yet. Picked up The Pact, another horror. Again, 50p, so we took it like that. I really need to start watching these movies. Also picked up uh, Red Riding Hood. The alternate cut, rent a copy budget version, but again, 50p, so. Can't argue if you see X to that one. Also picked up another British one with Martin Kemp in it, and that is Age of a Kill. Again, another 50p one there. Picked this one up too. I think I see I've got this uh put this first one, so I thought I may as well pick up the second one. And that is the Hunger Games Catching Fire. So got a nice slip cover on it. Oh, this one does have the UV, UV, UV code in it. I wonder if that works. Take that out and uh, we'll see later. Hopefully it will. I get something on my back on. There we go. Uh, we also picked up Michael McIntyre. 50p. Not bad. Take that too. The Host. Again, yeah, not seen any of these. I really just started watching some. The Last Exorcism. Dead Man Down. There you go. Cog and Fire look good. The original Paranormal Activity, and to be honest with you, I think that's probably the best one. 50p. And I picked up a couple of the Resident Evils. Resident Evil Retribution and Resident Evil Extension. So not the best cases, but you know. I also picked up 12 monkeys. Braveheart. And that one's that one's got the battle interaction things like that, so that should be good. Uh Insidious Part 2. Immortals. Transformers AG Extension, you know, I say that's not the greatest one either, is it? But took it. Oh, and it's fell, it's down. Look at that. So that's the bonus disc for it. Let's fix it. So again, not bad. And it's a uh, two discs, Blu ray and Blu ray bonus disc in there. So there you go. That's not too bad. I've shown you these two. I have. Put them back up. So I've shown you that one with Eric Barra, Olivia Wilde and Charlie Lennon, that's Deadfall. Triple Play 2 Grip. And The Door, I really like The Door, I think that's a great film to be honest with you. We'll watch it on Blu-ray with my new 4K, hopefully it'll up, upscale on there. I'm going to do a little bit of research on, I say, what ones upscale and what ones don't. I wonder how they're filmed. Hmm, let's have a little look. I always wanted this on Blu-ray, I think it's a great film, and that is Battle Early. So I watched that, that's the first one I watched on my 4K TV, and I think it's a really good film. I think the 4K TV as well, it's an ultra HD 4K TV, I think that uh, that uh, is probably going to be really good for the sci-fi ones, probably the best the best ones on there. So, I know, it's not War Survival, yes. I, really, I thought that was a really good film, I really did enjoy that one. Uh, I got the Twilight Saga from Blu-ray Bit, which I won in there, and the also, so I thought may as well pick up Breaking Dawn Part 2, I think I just need Breaking Dawn Part 1. It's Blu-ray though. You will have, but you've got the ball on DVD. Yeah, you've got them all on DVD, yep. That's my wife saying she's got all the Twilights. 
on DVD. I know because I bought them for a Christmas and she's still not watched them yet. Have you, Arlene? No. No, this Christmas about three Christmases ago. Yeah. So the hole, I've also got the hole. <laughs> Contagion. <laughs> I was just showing them that one, yeah. That's about uh, three about three people who like staring at all. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's going to be a great one or not. I don't know if I'll show you that one either, but there you go. Slow in the West. I am Legend. Got to get that too. Attack the Block. Okay. So I think that'll do for now. I've got a fair few other ones to show you, but uh, I'll, I'll do that in a, I'll do that in another new video, and uh, I'll probably just do it uh, just now as well, just to get them all uh, shown to you, so I catch up a bit. I say I've, in terms of DVDs, I'm not really keeping them in the cases anymore. I really just don't have the space for it. And I say we've got, I've got most of them. I have still been buying them, but uh, the, the I just don't have the space. I said probably don't even have enough space for the Blu-rays I bought. Never mind the uh, never mind the DVDs. So I've just been taking them all out the all out of the cases. So I've probably bought quite a few of those, but most of them I've taken out the the cases. So say so if you've got any comments about the uh, DV, the Blu-rays even that I've picked up, ones I should watch, any uh, any comments on how I can set up my TV, that'd be helpful too. And uh, also I say if you want to subscribe, subscribe down below. And I say thanks very much.